Welcome back from the bench, everybody. As always, it's Eric, and today we're back with a first look at the brand new 2022-2023 SP Authentic Hockey. Another small high box here. We got Matty Beniers. We got Shane Wright on the front of it. The two Seattle Kraken uh, poster boys here. Uh, we are looking for in this the hobby, always popular, Future Watch Autos, uh, hoping not to get any retros, uh, but we'll get right into it. We'll turn the camera around. We're not going to you know, hold this up any longer. Uh, last year, I opened up two boxes of SP Authentic. Um, I got two boxes of this too, so there's a second box beside me. Um, but both of them, uh, I did not hit a regular Future Watch in either box. I hit two retros. I hit uh, Kalen Addison. Which I literally just sold, like and that was six months ago, uh, and a Lassie Thompson retro. So I opened up two boxes, got two retros. Also got a last year was a Matty Kachuk black uh, auto, and I got a Miro Haskinen limited. So that's what the box looks like. You get your packs. You're gonna get nine cards per pack, ten packs per box, so five per side. He like said we're hoping to get um, some. Future Watch Autos, the regular ones. Uh, nice little thing about this, I believe I heard in an interview, no, and that's right, no redemptions this year uh, when it comes to Future Watches. So if that's the case, I give them, I'll applaud them. Uh, we'll go from there. Uh, last year's design, I don't have any autos because uh, I never pulled any base autos last year. Imagine this, with the big auto right here. So that was the design last year, uh, and the base would have looked like Yoink. I'll do up the, the thousand game man himself, Ryan O'Reilly. So there we go. There was the base and the future watches last year. We'll see what this one looks like this year. Let me know if you guys are uh, going to be picking any of this up. It's SPS. It's SP Authentic Gear Jam. First off, it's a good looking card. I like the design in the background. It's kind of the mind that I like that design probably like that design more than last year's add a little color to it all for that so we got Lucas Raymond we got Nick Schmaltz I guess I'll show the back other Lucas Raymond it is a first look video to me as well so very basic on the back I do like that front design though that's, that's very nice uh, Nick Schmaltz quick What is this? Looks like a double something. Collaborations. So this is a new insert, I believe, unless it's from a couple years ago, but collaborations of Kopitar and Kempe. And we got a Spectrum FX of Sidney Crosby, not bad. So these, we'll do the back of this. So the collaborations. Back of collaborations, nothing fancy. That over there, Crosby and pageantry again. That what this is? It's an auto. No, Braden Tracy. So we go pageantry. We got Matthews, Dylan Cousins, and a Mitch Marner. So finishing off with some things. So. Big thing about Spectrum FX, they have a little scratch code. You can scratch all of them, and uh, you can redeem them for stuff. So um, somebody will be looking for that. They, after the first, like, week, a couple days, really, uh, nobody really cares about them. Just putting that out there. So if you have them, sell them. Uh, I know I've been greedy before. Oh, I want this much for them. And then at the end of the day, uh, I get nothing. So uh, I'm going left to right. So left pack, right pack, left pack, right pack. So we got Dawson Mercer, the dog. We got Jeremy Swayman. So these guys are all second year guys. Uh, it's weird we've been going back from 2021, 22 to 22, 23 to 23, 24. Now we're back to 22, 23. So uh, Jeremy Swayman. We got here limited red of Jake Christensen, not the correct blue jacket. We're looking for Kent Johnson. Another one of these collaborations, so they are definitely not rare. Uh, collaborations of Svechnikov and Aho. Another pageantry. This one's going to be Matias Michelli. 
All right, that's kind of followed me around. Not too a bad thing, but Matias Michelli and the pageantry. So pageantry, I guess I can show the back of those. Nothing too, too fancy there. And then the limited red. Uh, for the future watch, limited red. So that's the look at your first, the first look at the future watches. So they got these, same thing. They're doing with the different shapes and stuff in the background. So, not a bad design, not a bad design. So this is the first look, so it's gonna be a little bit slower for some inserts and stuff like that. Like I said, we're just trying to show you this. I, like I said, you guys can watch, if you guys wanna see this rip super fast, super fast, super fast, you can go insert breaker here and they'll pop, rip all these, put them in a great big stack, and they'll just, and will be done a box in a minute and a half. Go watch those all day long. This is, because I just want to watch the, watch this get open. Peter Vanacek, another limited red. This is Elias Patterson, so this is the base limited red by the Vets. Another collaborations, yeah, these really aren't, aren't, uh, Aren't rare collaborations of Johnny Hockey and Patrick Liney. Another Spectrum F FX for Nick Perbix. So the Future Watch Spectrum FX and the Nick Perbix. So there's once again the look at the Future Watch Spectrum FX. Let's look at the back of them. So like I said, you scratch that off, and somebody's gonna get that code. Um, what was I going to say? I did a great big deep dive in this. If you guys want to go watch it, I'll link it at the end of this. Essentially the top 25 guys looking for in this. Uh, it's Shane, it's Matty Benier, Shane Wright, Slavkovsky, Matt Boldy, Kent Johnson, Wyatt Johnston. Um, who am I forgetting in that? Bunch of guys, but it should be pretty, pretty good class. No, like cr nothing crazy, crazy. Um, but still we got Zach Wierenski. I don't know why he's having such a hard time focusing. Maybe it's the slabs. We got SP Top Rookies, Braden Schneider. So we'll give you a first look at the Braden Schneider, and then we have another pageantry in the back. Yeah. So we got Miro Haskin in, in the pageantry, but there's SP Top Rookies. It's an insert card. It's not the craziest one of all time, but. SP Top Rookies Green. Let's see. The pageantry. Who, uh, so pageantry. So. Now, I was that I did a pretty, it's crazy when you look back at some of these guys and who hasn't, um, who's struggling. Like, Matty Benier's struggling a lot. Um, who else is struggling? Uh, Dylan Holloway's struggling a lot. So, uh, Jamie Drysdale, another limited red. Matias Michelli, once again. Just getting chased here. Matias Michelli's. Uh, SP Top Rookies, Matt Boldy. We get upset if we, uh, that's our future watch later on. Double up in the Michelli's, now to double up in the Boldies. And this might be our first future watch. It is our autograph, so we're going to hold that. We're gonna hold that, we're gonna hold that. Put that right there. Let's see if it is autographed. I like how they put it at the top. It makes it nice for, for myself, people opening these products. So we got Cole Kopke, Future Watch Red. Kent Johnson, another guy I wouldn't mind if it was the Future Watch of. It is nice. I'm going to be happy that it's, I don't have a pageantry card Carter Hart. Um, I'm going to be pretty happy that it's not a retro to start this all off. I just, it, it made me last year just like, I didn't open the product again. I opened it up for the first, literally the first look video and I had, I bought two boxes then and I didn't open any more. It just, it was such a, a turn off to, oh, is it Future Watch or Limited? It's a future watch patch. Oh my. We're going to put that down. 
I saw the team. So now I'm going through my head of who's on that team. No big stars. I don't think. Am I miss, missing somebody? Sebastian Ajo. Uh, Zuccarello. Jared McCann. Still think that was a terrible trade by Toronto years ago. Uh, Jonathan Taze and the True Leaders. So this is our first look at the True Leaders. Oh, there we go. A pageant here. So True Leaders, Jonathan Taze. It's a very common insert. Nothing too crazy with this. But Jonathan, Jonathan Taze. Not retired. Uh, just took, uh, took a step back from um, uh, hockey for now. And the red pageantry. The pasta. So just pageantry. A little shorter print, but same thing. No, any of the reds uh, aren't like a crazy, crazy short print. So there we go. That's, hey, that's exciting though. So that's. There was one right side, one left side. Those back to back. I remember. Eric Schalgren, Red Limited, and Samuel Fajemo, and Future Watch non auto of Simon Holmstrom. Once again, here's kind of our first look at the base. So there are some that aren't autoed, like Simon Hol Holmstrom, obviously. Just like the one I pulled last year of, uh, who was it? R2 Roostalainen. So they do have non-auto versions. But all the big boys should be autoed. Last pack before we get into the patch and then the future watch. It's a good... This is going a whole lot better than the first than the first uh, than last year's product. Now this is also once again you're not guaranteed a patch auto, future watch patch auto. They're shorter printed everything else. Um, so just I always tell everybody this. You know sometimes you just hit a hot box. Uh, might not be good names, but not guaranteed to get hit a patch. So we got Zuccarello in the red. We got uh, Pavel Rangata, and then we got a pageantry of Mike Modano. Favorite player growing up was, was Mike Medano. So, uh, yeah, we'll get into the patch first. We'll take off the stuff from the back. So, we got pageantry of Saros. We got Nick Suzuki in the True Leaders. And for the Future Watch auto patch, get Tage out of the way. Nick Perbix is the guy. So we hit him earlier. 0 6 4 out of 100. That's a nasty patch, though. Uh, Nick Perbix. So not the guy you're looking for. But it's still a future watch auto patch. So I'm just going to throw a sleeve on this real quick. I said not the, not the name that, in like a boldy or, you know, insert other name here. Pretty good, but uh, not gonna not gonna turn him down one way or another. So we'll just throw him up. Oh yeah, by the way, backdrop. We got my boy Matty Shane. Uh, we got the Ivan Barbershev black. So we have like one other sale online of that, uh, other than that one. And then we got the Gabriel Landeskog. Go oh, captain, my captain. Uh, Future watch auto. Um, that was one I graded myself, I bought raw, I graded myself, which also brings me to the point, I have a PSA submission uh, that should be getting back tomorrow. Um, I, I'm going to do a reveal video for the grades. I do know the grades, but I'll do a reveal video. Uh, pretty happy overall with the thing. It's 28 cards in total, so if you like PSA reveal submissions, I got that on here too. So uh, we get through the back, we got Flower, we got Headman, we got Michael Bunting, and our future watch auto. What is that auto? Jacob Mover couldn't go any more to the right. Um, but Jacob 
move rare 684 out of 999 so this is your look at the future watch there's no color on it so you kind of lose a little bit of that uh part of this part of the future watches this year is you get the color in the background of the guys uh not the case with, with uh, jacob with the kings you just get the the silver but jacob move rare so here's your look at the future watches I said not the craziest name in the world by any stretch definitely was not on my top 25 um but the was he 25 year old 25 year old swede there you go for the la kings i was actually hoping i saw the kings i was hoping it was going to be um jordan spence went as dash for halloween uh, and was on the back of um quentin byfield it's back they kind of recreated the picture of dash from the incredibles on the back of frozone uh so um yeah I, they're not the names you're looking for but that kind of gives you a first look at this um obviously i'm looking for somebody else other than jacob mover and nick perbix um but at least it's not a retro i will give it that and at least it is uh you know a, a future watch auto patch which you're definitely not guaranteed um the big thing with this like i said do not you can get just retro packs so just keep that in mind and they did up the numbering for those um so like there's up to like 6.99 i believe uh, for some of those um they're making a lot of this product it's essentially what it is they're making a ton of it um so you know at the end of the day i like the design this year uh i don't see you no know, i don't really notice anything crazy that bottom corner or whatever but um overall they you get a lot of inserts just like last year because they changed the configuration and a lot of products so right so you're getting pageantry 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 like you're getting a lot of filler here uh with this on spectrum fx a top rookies green future watch auto of nick perbix he doubled up on the uh, Matthias Michelli's with the red and what else did I get there? Matthias Michelli. Of the red and something else. Oh, and the pageantry. So, I was hoping we were going to double up on Matt Bolte or Kent Johnson too. Wasn't the, ch wasn't the case. Uh, Jacob Mover made his first appearance over here uh, for SPA for us and um, Nick Perbix just you know, showing up again. So, um, like I said, can't complain in the slightest. Do have a second box. So, I'm going to be opening that. That'll be in a separate video. Uh, so, you guys, make sure you hit the like, hit the subscribe. If you haven't yet, follow me on Instagram. Um, like I said, I do, if you guys don't know, I do these videos, first look reveal videos. I open up a lot of boxes. I do card show vlogs. I do uh, previews for sets uh, that I started doing. And then I also do like PSA reveals and previews and all that other stuff. So, uh, like I said, hit the like, hit the subscribe, follow me on Instagram, check out the eBay down below, and for Eric from the bench, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys.